dear all students namaste this is smm trinath the faculty of ace engineering academy through deep learn platform i am reaching out to you all with my subject analog circuits you know dears irrespective of my achievements in my life i really felt privileged when i receive best teacher award in 2019 by esn publications under dr p kothari sir who is an ex director of iit delhi you know why i felt privileged because teaching is not my job it's my life training thousands of students since 2010 i learned many things in my subject that expertise or experience taught me many more shortcuts tricks in problem solving where i presented most of those shortcuts tricks in these video lectures you know whatever may be the question if you could able to solve the one mark questions in the gate exam especially within one and a half or two minutes and two mark questions within four or five minutes that is enough you are success so the shortcuts logistics are very important for you but if you want to understand those shortcuts it is your responsibility to understand the concept you will understand surely you will experience it surely when you come across the video lectures regarding the subject the analog circuits the heart of the subject i say it is amplifier the brain of the subject is semiconductor devices and the nervous system of the subject is like a circuit analysis where the body the body of the subject is linear and non linear applications how easy it is now the entire body for analog circuits we got you know it is very simple and easy you know my uh, uh, guru used to say a point in the world everything is easy but to know that it is easy is only difficult yes finally when you are going for competitive exams you need to save lot of time for sure if the circuit is becoming complicated in the clippers then uh, doing the analysis directly by assuming the status of diodes of course with your experience you may get answer with a short span of time but still if you want to save more time let me give you some uh, trick shortcut we say right by that i hope whatever may be the question so uh, it may be a two diode circuit with a dual supply with a single input ac signal uh, maximum within 2 minutes you can uh, able to understand the wave shape including the transfer characteristics that is what exactly we need so let us go with the trick understand it carefully let us see with some examples by that you can understand uh, whether it must be a time saving or uh, time uh, consuming right now have a look here see the first thing is the first point sign of the diode towards the node whenever i say node that must be with respect to the load where output is taken that is the point where we treat it as a node that node is important because wave shape is always with respect to the output we need to follow so sign of the diode towards the node decides which portion must be clipped off for example let me say dear students see here we go with a simple diode and this is the load true dear students there is no dc bias for this so say this is a 5 sin theta as i said i need a node what node this node we need to consider this is the node with respect to the output or with respect to the load where we connected we need to take it as a node for a diode now this is what here p type semiconductor this is n type semiconductor now speak out here now at the node which is connected n type or p type n type as n type is connected no doubt it should clip the negative half cycle it should clip the negative portion of the signal i repeat once again sign of the diode towards the node towards the node right decides which portion must be clipped off
if n type semiconductor is connected to the node it should clip off negative portion if p type semiconductor is connected to the node it should clip positive portion now i hope negative portion must be clipped off dc bias is not there then output must be pure positive half signal hope you got the points dear in the similar way if i go with the circuit let me say right let me take a circuit in this way true dear students where here this is v not okay this is v not vi that means this will be output true dear now this is none other than the node right because output with respect to the node we need to consider now tell me dear students so this is p type semiconductor this is n type semiconductor now tell me dear towards the node which is connected p type or n type p type therefore positive portion need to be clipped off therefore output positive portion must be zero only negative portion must be processed at the output side this must be the case for this uh, mean to say uh, circuit now let us consider the second trick dear right so in the second trick while we move in clockwise direction the first sign of dc bias dc bias itself shows that we need a biased clipper now let us consider a circuit let me take this is a, a circuit over here say v is a dc bias here right and say that is our load and here this is vi let me say this is vm sin theta don't forget vm must be greater than v true dear the magnitude that is say the magnitude magnitude of vm must be greater than magnitude of v that must be shear if you want to operate any clipping action true dear now students according to the second technique see first of all see this is the node now this is our n type semiconductor p type semiconductor therefore p type semiconductor towards the node therefore it need to clip the positive portion of the signal next while i am moving in the clockwise direction i am touching what negative i repeat while i am moving in the clockwise direction i am touching what negative as i am touching negative no doubt the dc must be represented in the negative axis and here the positive portion must be clipped not dear students therefore above dc everything must be clipped off dc must be represented in the negative axis and from that reference voltage above dc everything must be clipped off i hope you got the point or not dear students that means see here if i consider the signal see this is the ac right we say vm sin theta true dear moving in clockwise direction no doubt dc represented minus v so what scientist is saying that above the dc above the reference everything must be clipped off above the reference everything must be what here clipped off now tell me dear students whenever see here if if i go with output waveform if i go with output waveform here see this is like a positive negative and it must be what here positive and this is ac dc comparison true dear students now tell me above the dc total signal must be clipped off indicates what when it will be clipped off when output voltage must become zero output voltage must become zero indicates what diode is off now tell me dear whenever diode is off as output voltage becomes zero indicates what the total signal from here to here or from here to here the output voltage must behave like zero that means zero indicates the total signal must be in this way total output signal must be in this way when diode is off the total signal must be in this way therefore the remaining portion no doubt you are supposed to get the output hope you got the point or not this is what we got the wave shape that's it i think it is very interesting shortcut 
when I'm moving in the clockwise direction, I'm touching negative. Whenever I touch negative, it must be represented in the negative axis. P type semiconductor is connected to the node, indicates positive portion must be clipped. So, above the DC reference, everything must be clipped. Whenever everything must be clipped, indicates what? Output must be 0. That means, this portion output must be 0. Output must be 0 indicates what? Diode must behave like what here? Open switch. When diode is behaving like open switch, no doubt V0 will be acting as 0 here. Therefore, it must be 0 reference. It must be 0 reference. Hope you understood this point. In the similar way, students, now could you please respond yes, everyone. Sir, this is the node. Whenever I say node, no doubt this is N type and P type. It is very clear to say negative portion must be clipped off. Which portion, my dear? Negative portion must be clipped off. Right. Now, while I am moving in clockwise direction, I am touching negative or positive, negative. So, this voltage must be represented in the negative side. So, below that portion must be clipped off. Below that portion must be clipped off. Now, tell me, dear, below that portion need to be clipped off indicates what? Output voltage must become 0 below that portion. Below that portion, output voltage must be 0 indicates diode must be on. Why? Because if diode is on, then only V0 will become DC, then V0 should never contribute any AC. Why? Because it is in parallel connection. I repeat, let me draw by that hope uh, you can understand clearly. Sir, this is the sine wave you are provided. Say this is Vm right here. Moving in clockwise direction, I am touching what here? Negative. I am experiencing negative. So, it must be minus V. Now, tell me dear, N type semiconductor connected to the node. Therefore, negative portion must be clipped off. Negative portion must be clipped off indicates this, this output voltage must be 0. That means, this magnitude at output must be 0. That means, in the negative half cycle, this portion must be 0 indicates. In the negative half cycle, here itself, I need to stop the output waveform. Indicates what? Diode must be short. Why? If diode is short, then whatever may be the input signal, output voltage must be equals to only DC signal. I hope you got the point or not, dear students. Whatever may be the input signal, output signal must be DC signal. Therefore, if I draw the waveform, if I draw the waveform, so pause to half and here like this. True dear students, everybody in the class and again it will go to pause to half. This is the way how we need to get the waveform here. Based on that, you could easily draw the transfer characteristics.